I was in the children's home in the UK. I was only 10. This man in a suit, he came to see me and he says, your mother's dead, you know, so how'd you like to go to Australia? The sun shines every day. You pick oranges off the trees for your breakfast. Now you're telling me that she might not have been dead after all. You're talking about the organized deportation of children in care. I mean organized at the level of government. Why has no one ever heard about it? We were processed in here. By the end of that day, I was at the Christian Brothers. The boys put every stone of that building together. Nine years old, lifting rocks the size of my upper body. He had this big, knobby stick, and he would... What happened to some of these children is an outrage. Do you know how many? We don't have any more information. I just want to find my mother. I was contacted by a woman who has lost all contact with her family, and I'm here today to see if any of you are in the same position. Shut the door. Listen, you bitch. Stop talking about the brothers. Have I disturbed you, brothers? From the producers of The King's Speech comes a true story of generations lost. I'm hearing an awful lot about the distress caused to the brothers. No one's talking about the distress caused to the children who were supposed to be in their care. And the woman whose courage... I'm gonna bring you to die! Get brought them together. I can't stop. There's no one else. Thank you. Have you found my mother? You're fighting for us, Margaret. You're on our side. What was done was done with the very best intention. They just want to know who they